Smile and learn. Hey guys, are you ready to learn a few things about animals? Ah, ah, animals, animals. Hey, don't repeat what I say. Ah, ah, say, say. Oh, always the same. Well guys, today we are going to talk about another group of vertebrate animals, birds. Ah, ah, birds, birds. Birds are oviparous animals, which means they are born from eggs. They walk with two legs, and they have two wings that allow them to fly. Although, there are some birds like the ostrich and penguin that don't fly, even though they have wings. The bird skeleton is light because their bones are hollow. Birds can breathe thanks to their lungs. And they are warm-blooded. They eat with their beak that has no teeth. Ugh. Their body is covered in feathers. Did you know that the heaviest bird in the world is the ostrich? No wonder it can't fly, poor thing. A bird that can fly is the eagle. Incredible! Incredible, incredible! You again? Watch what happens if I catch you. Hey there. Today I'm here to tell you about one of the most funny animals. The penguin. Would you like to know some incredible things about penguins? Come on, let's go! The penguin is a vertebrate animal, which means it has an internal skeleton. It belongs to the flightless birds group and feeds on small fish, crustaceans, or plankton. Penguins normally live near the sea on thick layers of ice. Depending on their species, they can weigh from 2 to 88 pounds and can measure from 15 inches to 3.5 feet. Although it may not seem like it, penguins' bodies are covered with feathers, like those of any other bird. During their first year of life, the hatchlings have soft and warm feathers that protect them from the cold. Did you know that penguins don't live in the North Pole? Most of them live in the Southern Hemisphere, except for the Galapagos penguin, which lives on these islands that belong to Ecuador. Penguins lost the ability to fly millions of years ago, but their wings allow them to move with great agility in the water. They can also jump and glide across the ice. How cool! Penguins are superb swimmers. They can reach speeds of up to 15 miles per hour. Swimming very fast allows them to flee from their predators. The most common ones are sharks and killer whales, but there are many more. It seems that penguin meat is quite tasty. Did you know that they see better underwater than outside the water? Even when the water is dark or dirty? This ability helps them look for food. So. How do we differentiate the females from the males? Well, it's very complicated because they're very similar. The males are usually slightly larger than the females, but penguins are one of those animals whose gender is the most difficult to spot. Who said that love does not last in the animal world? Penguins are monogamous. That is, they have the same partner their whole lives and only reproduce with them. Also, male penguins incubate their eggs together with their mates. Once the babies are born, the male and female take turns feeding them. As well as being good parents, penguins are also great friends. They usually swim and feed in groups. Some penguin colonies have as many as 20 million members. Unfortunately, 
Some penguins are in danger of extinction due to the deterioration of their habitat, poaching, and climate change. To help prevent this situation from worsening, we must take care of our environment as much as possible. All right, you've already learned a few things about these cool animals. See you later. Hey there. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the kindest animals, the duck. Do you want to know some amazing facts about ducks? Here we go. Ducks are vertebrate animals belonging to the bird group. They're omnivores because they eat plants, seeds, insects, and small fish. Their size depends on their species, but they can weigh up to three and a half pounds and measure up to five inches. Ducks live in wet areas such as rivers, marshes, or ponds. Ducks have a feathered body and a short, broad bill that is usually flat. Their feet have membranes between the toes that allow them to swim very fast. They also have claws that they use to cling to surfaces, such as the ground or rocks. Ducks are very special animals. They can travel by water, land, and air. Have you ever heard the sound ducks make? It's called quacking, and it tends to be much higher pitched in females than in males. Their beaks are shaped differently depending on the species, and their nostrils are near the end, closest to the head. This allows them to search for food by submerging part of their beaks in water without having to hold their breath. We can find ducks almost anywhere in the world, except in Antarctica. Many ducks need to migrate to raise their young. They mostly look for warm places, flying thousands of miles. They don't seem to like the cold, and neither do I. Do you know what we call a group of birds that migrate together? A flock. Female ducks are very responsible, and they keep their ducklings together so they don't get lost or end up in a predator's clutches. So what are ducks' predators? Snakes, turtles, or hawks are some of their worst enemies. Many people associate the color yellow with ducks, but the truth is that only some of the ducklings are this color. The adults usually have different colors, such as gray, white, black, or green. Males are more colorful than females because they use their colors to attract females during mating season. Although there are many ducks around the world, some species are in danger of extinction. We must be aware that our actions are essential to protecting their habitats. Remember that taking care of the environment depends on us. Well, you've already learned a few things about these aquatic birds. Until next time! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.